okay today um, we shall be creating data so that we can run the eView how to create data using eViews first you go to file then you choose the new then you choose work file I choose it here you click on it after clicking you come here you check you click on it you will find three option undated dated and balanced panel out of three I am choosing the first one undated one and then you go to observations suppose I put eight observations in total and the file name I put as regression model one that is my file name regression model one after that I click on the OK so so this one is called eView window eView window is created here and you see here is the range 1 to 8 what is called range here the size of the total population is 1 to 8 so meaning that my total population is 8 8 observations and my sample is also 1 to 8 meaning that sample is also 8 and what, what is this one C C is the constant of the regression line or you can call it intercept of the regression line and what is this one receipt receipt is, is the residual of the regression line now we shall be creating variables one by one okay what you do you press your finger on the right portion of the mouse you press your finger on the right portion of the mouse if I click it the new object will come up so you choose the new object and then you from here you choose the series what is called series the name of the variable is called series and this one is called name of object meaning that name of the variable so I write here as a y so series is y meaning that name of the variable is y so from here you can see y variable is created okay now i create some more variables uh, in this uh, eview windows okay in the same way what i do i press my finger on the right portion of the mouse and i choose the new object here what does mean by new object meaning that new variable i am choosing now okay from here you can see series is already chosen here i just put x1 another variable is created okay then uh, I create both variables uh, the, the same way uh, I have done before I click on the right mouse new object and I put X2 the okay, same way I click on the right new object and I create X3 so I done it so you can see there are four variables now we have to insert data in these variables first i start with x1 i click on the x1 you see the window has come up 
and you can see there are eight observations undated and you can see x1 variable is here now we have to insert data here i click on it but to insert data you must click on the edit can you see here edit just click on it so as soon as you click on edit the door will be opened to insert data okay what you can do you can just follow me so that uh, so that uh, so that you can insert data so i'm i'm inserting data now first i put 10 second one i put 23 and third one 21 okay, i'm putting now 34, 33, and 30. Okay, so uh, so I have put all Exxon data. Okay, now it is done. Then I cancel it. Can you see a small cross? So uh, I close the window. I close the window, but the data is there. I close it. Okay. Then I choose a X2 and I can insert data. Click on it as before. I click on it and to insert data as before, I must click on the edit. Okay. Then I start to type data. Edit. You can just follow me the way I am doing so that you can run the regression line that uh, that uh, I'll be doing eventually okay. so it is done then you cancel the not cancel you close the window by clicking on it okay, okay then you choose x3 Again, okay. okay. As before, you just uh, uh, insert data. Okay, it is done. X three is done. Okay, then finally, okay, you 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 click on it to uh, to close the the window then you choose the y the finally okay you you click here then go to edit as before Okay, so it is done okay so now all the data have been inserted okay now I now I am checking whether all the data have been inserted or not how to check you just click here the data is coming then cancel it click here the data is all are here click here data is here then click here data is here all the data are here okay and what you can do you you press your finger on the control control you know control control on the on the key then you choose all these things in this way right as I told you press a finger on the control button and you just click on it so then after doing it you press your finger on the right portion of the mouse so then it will come 
then you choose the open then you choose as a group that means all data will be exhibited at a time i just click on it you see all have come eight observations x1 x2 x3 y so all have come here okay now i close it this one uh, i close this window uh, uh, not delete so i just okay what i can do close okay yes just close it okay then i close it okay now now okay first uh, first i check this one how is the x1 variables right how it looks like so you can see from here go to quick and the graph right from the graph you can check how it is how it looks like so i put okay what i do uh, i put x1 then i write x2 sorry I write x1, I write x2, I write x3, then I write y. You see, I am putting all the variables uh, to see the whole thing at a time, to see the graph of all these variables. Then I choose, okay, it is coming up okay then what type of graph suppose line and symbol or bar or spike there are so many ways you can see okay suppose i choose line and symbol right and press okay you see you can see all data x1 is the blue this one is the x1 x2 is the this color that is i would say it is maroon you see it is here and x3 is the green which one is this one and y is the uh, some reddish color which is like this right fluctuation of it okay again uh, i can see some more graph graph okay i put all the variables here x1 x2 x3 and y right we have four variables and i choose okay 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 last time we saw line and symbol this time we see bar we see bar and i press okay You see all the bar has come up so the green uh, uh, the the blue is x1 and red is x2 and green is x3 and y is yellow you can see from here all the data okay so now so this one is how to plot data and how to insert data. Thank you very much.